Why don't we get to the keys to the game? Because it leads in perfectly to one of my keys, and that's score the first freaking goal. Because, like I said, who has ever scored first so far has gone on to win the game, and there has been no lead changes in this entire series. So you score first, you get the lead, it doesn't change. You keep it, you build on it, you win the game. That's how it's gone so far. So that first goal is going to be pivotal, especially at home. You get the crowd back into it. Hopefully you can score early. Um, that's going to be one of the keys to, to the game for me. And maybe a way you do that, one of my other keys, you somehow get Matthews away from Hedman, Point, and Sorelli, and you let him dominate against lesser competition. You get the matchup that you want and let him do his thing. Him and Marner got to produce here in Game 5 for this team to win it. If they don't produce, I don't see a victory coming their way. Um, and they have a pretty good opportunity to do so with last change and being able to dictate the matchups. And uh, the, I guess it goes to my my final key, and that's stay out of the box to allow all of that to happen, allow those guys to do their thing. So that's kind of what I think is is the recipe for success going into tonight's game. Uh, what are your keys, Dave? Um, Jack Campbell just needs to give the Leafs a chance at the start of the game. I'm not blaming him for what happened in, in game four. Um, I think it was a right call to get him out because you just, you, you don't want to put first off, get, get him thinking about the next game, give him, give him the, the game, the rest of the game off. I think Sheldon keep me the right decision to take him out. Um, but he's going to have to be ready for that first 10 minutes of the game uh, to give the Leafs the best chance to try to get that early lead. So that's one key for me there. Second key, you know what? Uh, the Leafs have to find a way to if 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 they get a power play early, that that first power play unit is going to have to get some bodies in front, find a way to get some traffic in front of Andre Vasilevsky. I think the you know you could see the balancing of calls a little. We've seen this in the playoffs. Tampa got a bunch in the last game. The Leafs could be due for some if that is the case. Um, and the last one is composure. I, I think there's been a lack of composure from at least, you know, a lot of the penalties they took a guy, you know, like I think at one point, Andre Kasha got his t- stick grabbed and he tries to fling it out. And guess what? He high sticks the guy in the face. You have situational hockey guys. You have to think and be composed in those situations because that Tampa is going to want you to be undisciplined, unhinged. Don't let them do that. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't agree more, buddy. Um, and the traffic thing, not just on the power play. Well, all, all situations, but mainly power right? play. Like, just get guys on, in front of Vasilevsky. I mean, you look back, you can th- I can think of numerous goals that they've – most of the goals that they've scored have on, – have, like, I don't say only been, but a majority of the goals have been because there's been traffic in front, which has thrown Vasilevsky off. He doesn't have a clear sight to the puck. He can't react quick enough. I mean, uh, Muzzin's goal traffic in front both of marner's goals traffic in front you know so you know if you can get traffic in front of the net and kind of screw with the eyes of the goaltender and get him off his game a little bit get him searching for pucks as opposed to being in position in his crouch position i believe that uh that that might put the 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 maple Leafs in a pretty good position to try and score all right dave final prediction what are we seeing tonight uh well, I'm gonna be at a the the what are they calling it the Ford VIP party. Oh yeah, team. gonna get some nice f- some nice food. We found out who's gonna be there. No, uh, my sister went uh, for Game Four. Corson was there, right? What was that? I think I saw Corson was there. He was there the Game Four. It was Nick Antropov, Leaf Legend. Nick Ooh. Antropov was there. Antropov was there. Um. So I don't know. I'm curious to see who they bring out. It's, I think it's gonna be the same, similar guy, person that they'll have at the, at the tailgate. You know, being home, being this such a pivotal game. Let's hope they bring out someone. I think Cabrera has been there out there too. So it could be. It'll be interesting to see. Um, Wendell, I mean, maybe it'll be a little Wendell. Well, Wendell would be nice. it would be a nice little homage. Uh, maybe Dougie if Dougie's around. If he's uh, the winning vibes. Get the get the winning vibes there. Um, I'll go with my prediction will be four two Leafs. 
buds, you're looking at my screen. I got a 4-2 Leafs final prediction as well, my guy. I think we got to put a little bet on that then. <sighs> we might have to put. That would make the Leafs puck line winners. So we're going to go and place a little wager at uh, at bet online on the Leafs puck line tonight. Do we like that, Dave? Do we feel strong enough about that? We might. We might. I got, I got a little bit of a cold streak, so I got to snap out of it. So let's uh, do our best. Let's do it. We're firing that wager up. It, hopefully it, it pays off. Let's hope it pays off, pal, because that'll make us double happy. A, because we'll win money, and B, the Leafs will have a 3-2 series lead. Uh, let's hope that they come out firing tonight, though. It's, it's a, I'll say it one more time, a pivotal game tonight. Must win, in my opinion. Uh, so let's hope that they can get it done. If you're down there, enjoy the game, cheer loud and proud. Uh, and if you're on your, uh, you know, on the couch, cheer loud and proud as well, as I know that I'll be doing that. And Dave, have fun tonight down at, uh, so it's at real sports. It's at real sports. Got the VIP go. lounge. There you go, pal. You'll have a blast and we'll be back with you guys all, uh, tomorrow morning. We'll be breaking down the game of game five hopefully we got some good stuff to chat about but that's gonna do it for us here today on the pod i'd like to thank you all for listening and supporting the show you can subscribe to the locked on lease podcast on all podcast platforms and receive daily leaves content follow myself on twitter at mickey underscore canuck follow dave at d underscore morisuti follow the show on uh the show as well at locked on leaves and uh also go and follow us and subscribe on youtube locked on leaves on youtube leave a comment below your prediction for tonight it's a goal score too someone you think will get uh get one by vasilevsky tonight that'll be in the comment section below if you are part of the youtube clan uh all right that does it for us here today we'll be back tomorrow to break down game five but until then keep it locked right here 